Papa's in charge today. Papa's in charge today. Oh boy. Oh yes, boy. Yes. <laughs> My dear. Weight training. Weight training coming right up. My weight dear. training. Just one of those uh, survival of the fittest type of days. Oh man, we're gonna make it, but uh, it's a little crazy. All right, going out in the Hoka Clifton Fives, taking them out for another spin, because yes, I will be comparing the Hoka Clifton Fives to the New Balance Beacons later in the week. Maybe Thursday, likely Friday. Stay tuned, because I know a lot of you are asking in the comments to compare the Clifton Five to the Beacon. It's coming, stay tuned. All right. Time for a little strength training, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. How'd, how'd we do? How'd we do? Good. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We done it. Oh man, strength training at its finest, right, Michael? Oh man. Okay, let's go inside. Here we go. Time to stretch. Roll it out. Feeling good. Three miles. Oh, better stop the watch. The mama, we How need the mama. Mwah. He did great. Hi. He did great. Oh. <laughs> he did. He did great. He didn't eat all day, but he did great. He did not eat all day. <laughs> I mean, basically, <laughs> and napped <laughs> just a teeny <laughs> tiny bit. Teeny oh. tiny bit. Hi, oh. mama's restored. Hi, oh. mama's restored. Oh. All right, second video just dropped, the turbos. Go check it out, upper right hand corner. If you are interested in the Nike Pegasus 35 turbos, you definitely wanna go watch that video. All right, remember yesterday, the Nike Vimero 14s were swiped off the uh, out of the bushes? Somebody took my Nike Vimero 14s, they're gone. Well, a month ago, somebody took my arm warmers. I was doing a half marathon time trial and the arm warmers were on the side. I was running, I got a little too hot and then I threw them to the side of the road. I came back like 30 minutes later and they were gone. So anyway, I have a replacement pair and you know what color they are. You know what color they are. Thank you, uh, thank you Cyber Monday deals. All right, here we go. Zenza, Zenza, and yes, they are down below. Z E N S A H, Z E N S A H. Let's check these out. Hello, yeah. hello, not too shabby. Look how bright green. You know I like green. I like green a lot. Oh baby, all right, let's put them on. I am off to the gym for the first time in 
two and a half months. I attempted to run a 100 mile race in 2018. Didn't turn out so well, but I attempted. If you want to go check it out, it got pretty, pretty intense. Let's just put it that way. But I thought ahead of time that I really needed to add some upper body and lower body strength. Therefore, I went to the gym about once a week to, you know, pump iron, to lift some weights, to get stronger. So today's video is not about like techniques for how to improve your strength. However, I wanna get the discussion going about strength training for runners. And we're gonna do probably 20 videos, no, probably 10 videos at some point about strength training for runners, different techniques, different uh, philosophies behind the topic, and it's a big topic. So today is not that day to drill down into the topic too deep. Therefore, I'm on my way to the gym to get back into the rhythm of lifting. And I, I like to go once a week. Um, sometimes I'll increase it to maybe twice every 10 days. Anyway, let's go to the gym and uh, get, just get back, get back to the routine. <laughs> Good lift. Oh, it's it's good to be back. It's good to be back in the weight room. A little strength never hurts a runner. All right, we're going to talk more about this back at the house. There we go. There we go. That was just a little vignette into some of the strengthening exercises that I like to do as a runner. But before we get to more discussion on strength and lifting and the gym and all that stuff, I want to read the comment of the week from Will. Listen to this, guys. Just listen, listen to this. Turn on your ears. Here we go. Comment of the week. And just so you know, for all the new subscribers, which, again, welcome, I give a shout out to what I perceive as the best comment in the last seven days. And of course, there's literally not just hundreds of comments now every week, there's thousands. And so I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss some. But anyway, here we go from Will. Let's roll. Grateful, and this was in connection to a question of the day about what are you grateful for that is connected to running. Grateful for my mental and physical health because, because of running. After running cross country in high school 10 years ago, I never ran consistently until April 2018, so just this year. Initially started running again to lose weight, 70 pounds lost, and I am in the best shape of my life, chasing down old PRs and setting new ones. Above all, running has become a huge passion that makes me incredibly happy. I ran my first 50K last weekend, which is something I would have never thought I'd do. It's just hard to believe how dark of a place I was in less than a year ago until I came out the other side of it. Damn grateful, Will. There you go. Thank you, Will. You get the comment of the week. And thank you for being open and raw and real with all of us. I can't, I don't even know what to say. I mean, and for, I'm just grateful that you are out of that dark place and that running helped you get there. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. All right. Keyword strength. You better believe it. It's strength today because I'm beginning the discussion with all of you about are you interested in learning more about strength on YouTube? I wish at the University of Colorado that I would have lifted a little more seriously as a division one cross country and track runner. I lifted hard. Uh, we lifted Tuesdays and Fridays at CU. It was good. We had a lifting coach 
who really knew his stuff. I love I, a lot of the things that I do now are from him, but I do wish I would have taken it a little more seriously. What do I mean by that? I'm kind of a little guy. I pack a punch, but I'm 5'5", 120 pounds. A lot of the guys that I was racing in college, they were 5'8", to 6'1", let's say, is, was the range, and probably were in the range of about 145 to 185 approximately, approximately. They were just strong dudes. And as I get older, I am beginning to lean into the camp that I wanna be a little stronger in order to <laughs> maybe push off age a little bit, but in order to uh, be able to maintain my form late in races, especially for the, the marathon distance, 50K distance, because when you get tired, your form starts to get loosey-goosey. You start to lose your ability to push forward. And so, again, I just wish I would have been a little stronger in college, but I'm making up for it now, right? You know, never give up, never give up. And a quick side story about strength, it connects to my brother, Joseph, who you saw me run with a couple days ago. In high school, he was a very, very good runner, and he's still a great runner. Uh, but there was one thing that I used to basically yell at him in races in high school, in the, you know, the 5K, the 2 mile, the 1 mile, and I guarantee he knows what I'm thinking of. Pump your arms! Pump your arms! Like, that is my go-to uh, encouragement in a race. So if I'm ever watching you guys race, that's what I'm going to tell you. Because when your legs get tired, when your knee drive is starting to hurt, even like I did this a couple, 10 days ago in the 5K, like, I mentally said, okay, I've got one mile to go, pump my arms. Because when your legs won't go, when they're tired, your arm pump, your arm movement will bring you to the finish line. I tell you, I'm telling you, if you consciously make that decision to pump those arms, it makes a huge difference. Therefore, that's why in the gym, I love the pumping the arms lift. Anyway, that's a quick side story. I love it. I love it. I'll and the question of the day. Do you work on your strength outside of running? If so, why? And if you don't work on your strength outside of running, if so, why? Why not? And listen, I did not work on my strength outside of running for a good three or four years after college. Like I took, I took a lot of time off and partially because it was kind of expensive to get a gym membership. So that's a legitimate reason. I'm just curious to, I'm gauging where you guys are at in the whole uh, spectrum of lifting and working out and getting stronger. So I'm not, there's no right answer here, okay? Just share where you're at with strength and lifting and all that good stuff. I would appreciate it down in the comments. Ladies and gentlemen, I am gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. We did it. Great day. Well, crazy, great day, but crazy day. Crazy day. I mean, you know, push-ups in the kitchen, children on your back, you know, that kind of day. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. We will see you tomorrow.